hello everyone and welcome to my first very impromptu YouTube video. Um, I am currently on my way, sorry for the bad angle, but like what can you do? Um, I am currently on my way to my work office to rescue my plants because I was laid off temporarily on Monday. It is now Thursday and um, my boss knows that I have lots of plants at work and that I would not want them to perish in the great quarantine of 2020. So we are going to rush over there right now and rescue them because we don't need unnecessary plant deaths, you know? Um, so yeah, about, my boss texted me about, I want to say like 20 minutes ago and I was fully, um, just starting my day of playing Animal Crossing on the couch. I have not washed my hair, so this is a 15 minute transformation. And yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go rescue some plants. And then I have some stuff that I need to finish moving from my old house. I moved, I think like a month, month and a half ago. And I still have a few things that I need to pick up. Our lease at this house is up, I think on Tuesday. So I have a few last things that I need to move and then I will need to go back to clean. And once that's done, that will be over. So that's nice. But um, yeah, let's uh, go rescue some plants. All right, we have acquired the plants. And I'm bringing home more than I thought. I'm bringing home a few of my boss's plants that I guess she requested that I care for, <laughs> which is totally great. Um, so now I'm just going to pick up a few things from the house. I have to come back here later because someone's picking something up. Um, but I'm going to go grab a few things and then probably going to head home because literally what else is there to do? There are some groceries I could pick up, but I feel like I'd rather wait and just do like one big grocery shop for this week, probably on the weekend because like going to the grocery store right now fills me with so much anxiety that I don't want to be there, you know? Like, I used to go to the grocery store almost every day. And I just... I can't do that right now. No, you shouldn't do it right now. You really shouldn't do it right now. But, um... It doesn't feel good, you know? You're in there, and it's like suddenly you're in the Hunger Games, and you just have to try and get your things and get out. And then I feel like I have to, like, rush home afterwards. I don't know. I don't know. It's a weird time. I'm weird, Maybe I'm the only person that feels that way, but probably not. Um, okay, I'm going to go grab some stuff, and then we're going to hit the road. Uh, also, on a side note, what is the one thing that you wish that you had gotten together before all of this happened? Because I really wish I'd gotten my eyebrows done. This is what I have to live with now. Why? Why did I do this to myself? <laughs> I wish I had just gotten them threaded like just like two days before everything but first world problems what is your what is your self-isolation first world problem i would like to know <laughs> okay Alrighty, we are done packing some stuff up at the house we've got a full car we got plants we got other stuff we got it all now i am going to go home unload all of this stuff um try and find space for all of these plants now because if you follow my instagram you know i have a lot of plants someone dm'd me today and asked me how many plants i have she literally asked me how many plants do you have i said i honestly don't know and she said how do you manage and honestly do i i don't know but i mean plants so um, let's go home. All right, guys, we are back. It is very bright. 
Okay. Okay. We can work with that. All right. We are home. We have unpacked all of the things that we brought. Mostly plants. And um, these are my office plants that we today rescued. I don't know if it made sense when I was talking in the car. But basically, I it's Thursday today. I was temporarily laid off of work on Monday. And so today is the only opportunity that I have had to go back to my office and rescue my plants. And I had about 20 minutes warning that I was going to get to do this today. So that is why we are on the Hot Mess Express today. And um, I'm glad that you're on this journey with me because it has been a journey. So first things first, let's start with the big mama. This is my Begonia Griffin. I love her very much. She is a true queen. Um, she honestly was like pretty happy in my office. So I think she'll do well here where there's a little bit more humidity, a little bit more natural light. But yeah, she is a beautiful queen. And she is definitely the plant that I was the most worried about. So I'm hoping she'll be happy here, put out some nice new growth. And hopefully she'll be able to return home to the office one day. I also picked up two of my boss's plants. This is her snake plant, her Sansevieria. And um, yeah, she has a few other plants, but they're succulents and I thought that they would mostly be okay. So brought home this boy as well as this little aloe, which could use a little bit more light. So hopefully, everything's fine. Everything's fine. The roots. This plant may be dying. <laughs> Not good. Well, we'll take a we'll take a look into that a little bit later. Um Hopefully we can save this guy. Just another self-isolation project, you know? Yeah, that was bad. Yikes. Yikes. Okay. Moving on. This is my lace aloe, who is in desperate need of some TLC. But, um, she's doing okay. She put out a bunch of pups for me last year, so, you know, living her life, doing her best. We're all doing our best at this point. She's fine. We're all fine. Um, this is my coworker, Alex's, I believe it's supposed to be a golden sedum. I don't really remember, but um, clearly hasn't been getting a ton of sun. Um, we'll see how I can remedy that, but... There's only so much you can do, you know, when you have a northeast facing apartment. Don't ask me why I chose to live in a northeast facing apartment when I love plants, but that's what I chose. You know what? My plants seem pretty happy so far, so we'll see what happens. He's a pretty weird looking guy. He's been through some things, um, but I actually really like this little guy. He's got all these new growth points starting. And I just think it's really cute. Like, look at that. Are you focusing? Can you see it? Anyways, I think it's really cute. Um, a ton of leaves have popped off this plant during transit, so I've just been popping them back on top. Why not? It'll propagate itself. Set it and forget it. I also have these little succulents. They don't really get a lot of light at work. But I mean, it's just nice to have plants at work. This is my little propagation dish. Whenever a leaf falls off one of my plants, I just throw it in there. 
Look how cute that is. I don't know. I have had this growing in my office for probably a year, maybe more. But it's fun to watch all the little guys grow up. I also have this succulent that is in way too big of a pot. This is a rookie choice right here. But I am throwing a lot of the leaves that have fallen off my succulents on top. And it's just going to be a nice little dish garden, I think. In a few months. Or it'll die. We don't know. Um, And then I think, last but not least, this is just a little... Little baby Hartley Philodendron. Just doing her best. Just being cute. You know? Um, this also I was worried about. I feel like my succulents could have survived. Um, months of neglect. But this guy and my begonia definitely would not have. So, you know, they need that good H2L. So those are the plants that we rescued today. Um, yeah, I now have to find a place to put them. I don't really have anywhere to put them, to be honest. We're pretty full up in here. Pretty full. Plants, plants. Plants, 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 plants. So I definitely have a lot of rearranging that I need to do in the coming days. And, um... We'll see what happens. We'll see where they end up. But I, out of everything that I had, like personal items at the office, literally the only thing that I picked up were the plants. So that's when you know you're a plant mom. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. Maybe I'll do like a plant favorites video, newest plants. I don't know. What do you guys want to see, honestly? Repotting. I mean, I have a lot of free time now, so let me know what you guys are interested in. My Instagram is Desert Plant Diarist if you want to follow me there. And, um, yeah, we might do some cool things. We might do some seed starting projects. I kind of want to grow a sunflower, but I don't really know how well it would do in the apartment, so. I hope you guys are all staying safe, staying home for the most part, um, and taking care of yourselves. You know, it's a tough time. There are no rules every day. It's kind of the same. Um, who even knows what day it is anymore? Honestly, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, stay hydrated, drink water, take your vitamins, get as much sleep as you can. Sleep's really important. Um, and maybe, I don't know, do what feels right for you. If that means you want to spend a week watching Netflix and that makes you feel good and that makes you feel relaxed, go for it. If you want to use this time to better yourself or learn a new skill, also do that. Or do both. Why not do both? Because honestly, all I've been doing is playing Animal Crossing, truly, and taking care of my plants. So, I mean... That's balance, right? <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I hope you guys have found your own, I don't know, small happiness or routine in the midst of this global health crisis. So um, be safe, be well, and I'll see you guys soon. Is this how you take a thumbnail? How do you take a thumbnail? This is a test. This is a I don't know where I'm supposed to be looking.